I never got to talk to Mr. Park. Uh, he, I'm a professor at NYU, the graduate film school. I'm also artistic director of the school, and uh, he showed Stoker the same that I was teaching. And uh, he doesn't speak English. I don't speak Korean. So we were working through his assistant, and we just couldn't uh, make the we couldn't make it happen to meet, meet each other. But I did receive a, a, a email from him, translated by his sister, and he enjoyed the, the trailer. I was looking forward to seeing the film. I don't think he's seen it yet. But Josh did go, I don't know the specific details, but he did meet with Park, because Josh wanted his uh, blessing. And if Park has said, you know, I don't think it's a good idea. Josh is not going to do the film. And Park also told Josh, said, look, you have my blessing, but don't try to redo what we did. Make your own film. And that was my thinking from the beginning. I mean, I love Gus Van Sant, but uh, <laughs> I t why do that? And again, I'm, I'm not, you know, Gus is a great filmmaker. But that's just something I, I would, I mean, here's the reason why I use reinterpretation instead of remake. John Coltrane did not play the same exact thing that Julie Andrews sang in The Sound of Music. He took that, in, how long is that now? 16 minutes? My favorite things? I mean, it's a three-minute song. Many people have sang My Funny, My Funny Valentine when Miles David played is different. Who knows how many people have sung the Star Spangled Banner, but when Jimi Hendrix did it, Whitney Houston, Marvin Gaye, that was our approach, that they know that you have something that's great, and then in full respect of that source, just make it your own. And so that was the mindset. Josh and I had that mindset that we know Park Film is great. Working with Josh, the challenge of, of doing a reinterpretation is, is, is I've never done this before. And also knowing there are gonna be people who, who didn't want us to do it. That, that we were, it was heresy, it was sacrilegious. And I understand because when people are, are cult fans are fanatical and it's like we were messing with their mama so what I had not done for with the Broadway play so I directed Mike Tyson tweaks on Broadway that was our Broadway day butts that was summer 2012 and this past summer we filmed we videotaped it so it's coming on HBO tonight I mean tomorrow night it's called Mike Tyson Undisputed Truth and uh that was really it. We knew that it was going to be hard, but, you know, we, we brought Josh and myself. We never run for anything. We don't, we don't run away from hard stuff. Nothing's easy. And uh, we, don't run, we don't run away from challenges either. What people tend to, I think, over-magnify is the fact that not that many people saw this film on the overall scope of things. This is a... First of all, most Americans don't go see foreign films, especially Korean foreign films. Most Americans aren't reading subtitles. So there are going to be a lot of people who can have their stomachs filled with turkey, <laughs> dressing, <laughs> Sweet potato pie. <laughs> Little do they know.